Turning to business news now with Nona Peltier, who is sitting on the other side of me. Uh, one of the biggest real estate companies in Auckland thinks that bank lending restrictions are too hard on first-time buyers. I guess they would say that. But they would say that. They would, bless them, although God loves a trier. Uh, <laughs> what point are they making? Well, they're saying that houses that were, you know, about, well, I don't want to... Uh, an affordable six hundred thousand dollars. These are the houses that are mostly on the outside, outs, outer suburbs of Auckland. What, what's affordable now officially in Auckland? Six hundred thousand dollars. Right, I almost choke saying that, but yeah. So, but you still need twenty percent down to buy these houses, even if you're a first time uh, home buyer. So it's one hundred twenty grand, right? It's an awful lot of money, and the thing is, the sale of those houses has dropped substantially in the last few months. Uh, just four percent in recent months compared with the past when they were about a quarter of the firm's sales. So that means that people are simply not buying these properties uh, either because, well, they they simply don't have the down payment or they're just not attractive. So saving one hundred twenty thousand dollars, unless your household income is really, really high, yeah. is an uphill slog by any definition. Sure. And you're going to still, yeah, it's going to be difficult for sure almost, to buy those properties. Almost impossible. $600,000. It's a lot of money. So it's not surprising that uh, we're seeing that house prices are, overall have been slowing in the main centres. And I guess we're going to hear a little bit more Here about how they're well going done, to Well done, no, no, you mastered <laughs> the segue. Yeah, that's uh, coming up a bit go. later. Yeah, yeah thank that's you. Right. Uh, um, we're going to talk about labour market data too. Yeah, excellent. Not, <laughs> not only can you segue into later stories, you can also ask your own questions. <laughs> Go, no, no. Okay, labour market data. So, yeah, so we had some uh, new information on, you know, just how the market's going. And what we found was, of course, not surprising, unemployment has fallen. But what was surprising was employment growth has slowed. Uh, quite a lot, more than the market was expecting. And that drove the uh, New Zealand dollar down quite a big whack. And the reason why is uh, with the labor market the way that it is right now, there's no pressure on the Reserve Bank to raise interest rates. And so while economists had been thinking that, oh, you know, the Reserve Bank is going to raise interest rates sooner than later, in fact, it looks like it might be a long time before we see that. And that has uh, really shown itself in the markets today. We've seen um, the share market reach a new record high. Yeah, so you would expect it to go up if interest rates aren't going anywhere. Exactly, because where are you going to put your money? So our market is at the top end. We reached a record high of uh, 7,748. So we rose 19 points. That's about a quarter of a percent. But overall in Asia, uh, the markets have been really strong because Apple shares have been rocketing up to you know, sky high levels too. So the markets are very happy with that. So Overall, the tone is in an upward movement. At the same time, our dollar fell as a result of the idea that the Reserve Bank will not lift interest rates sooner than people were hoping that the Reserve Bank would. So our dollar fell um, to 74.3 US cents. That's still pretty strong. And uh, 93.4 Australian and 56.2 pence. Nana Peltier, thank you so much.